वेलकम टू राजेंद्र टंडन वीडियोस वी टेक अप अनदर चैप्टर ऑफ द वाल्मीकि रामायण इट वाज नॉट दैट देर वाज नो अपोजिशन टू रावणा हैविंग एबडक्टेड सीता इवन हिज फादर इन लॉ अपोज हिम एंड हिज फादर इन लॉ वाज ए पावरफुल मैन वाल्मीकि राइट्स Rama announced the invasion of Lanka with the blow of conches and the beating of kettle drums. Listening to the tumult, Ravana after thinking over the situation for some time called his ministers for a consultation. Addressing them he said, "I do not lay any blame at your door. I have listened to your emphasis on Rama's valor and his success in crossing the ocean. However, I consider all of you to be true warriors who would break havoc on Rama's army in the battlefield. Please note the quality of the language used by Valmiki, a great writer, the first poet in the world. Every word is measured. it has its own place it couldn't be otherwise listening to ravana malewan the king's maternal grandfather stood up to speak rajan a king who is learned in the 14 branches of knowledge and who follows neeti rules for long he is successful in vanquishing his enemies a king who cuts a deal with his foes when necessary who goes for a settlement of disputes and who looks after the interest of his empire more than his own interests attains grandeur and prosperity when a king's power wanes or it is no more than the enemies he should arrive at a settlement he must not insult an enemy who is stronger or who is his equal in power wage war only if you are superior in might ravana for these reasons i prefer a settlement with ram send sita back because it is on her account that you are being invaded Bhagwan Brahma created suras and asuras and provided dharma and adharma as their points of reference. The devatas follow dharma, while the rakshasas have taken to adharma. In the satya yug, dharma conquers adharma, while during the kali yug, adharma suppresses dharma. In pursuit of a conquest of the world, traveling all over, you destroyed the forces of dharma. you embrace the forces of adharma that is why our enemy wields a superior force over you these are statements of policy of neeti of the truth as understood by people at that time malewan continued adharma the ravenous reptile fed by your negligence pride and intoxication wants to devour us beautiful image on the other hand dharma supported by the devatas enhances rama's strength and that of his companions and slaved by lust acting heedless of consequences your thoughtless conduct has upset the rishis who are glorious and extremely implacable like agni they perform tapasya by purifying their thought and thus garner the punya of dharma in turn adding to rama's prowess offering ahuti to agni chanting mantras reading the vedas those rishis have frightened the rakshasas and scattered them like a cloud in the summer sky what an image 
scattering clouds in the summer sky. They have deprived the asuras of their power. By performing austerities, you were able to get a blessing against death at the hands of the devatas, asuras and the yakshas, but not against human beings. Please remember this. Now here is a gathering of powerful humans, vanaras, bears and langurs. They roar loudly and are determined fighters. I see omens indicating a destruction of the asuras in Lanka. The clouds rain blood and surround the gardens in Lanka. I see several other inauspicious omens. I understand that Rama is an incarnation of Vishnu. None else could have bridged this ocean as well or come so far to rescue Sita. Raghava is no ordinary man. Ravana, it will befit you and your people if you settle your dispute with him. Act in the interest of Lanka after evaluating the unusual and supernatural deeds of Rama. But all this was to no avail. The evil Ravana under the influence of Kal could not withstand Malyavan's sane and beneficial advice. Impatiently he rolled his eyes and with eyebrows raised his anger. He addressed his grandfather thus. Your words spoken in support of my enemy have not reached my ears. What you consider to be in my best interest sounds harsh and inimical to me. The helpless Ram is just an ordinary human being who has sought the support of Vanaras. What is so special about his going into a forest because his father asked him to do so? On what basis do you consider him to be powerful? I am the Rakshasa king and their master, endowed with the remarkable valor. I can strike fear even in the minds of the Devatas. How then am I inferior to Rama? Your manner of speech indicates that you are in league with my enemy. Without such an encouragement, which learned man can challenge an established and influential king like me? The charming Sita is like Lakshmi without a lotus, having brought her here away from the forest. Why should I entrust her back to Rama? Out of fear. In a few days, I shall kill the two brothers and all the menacing Vanaras. I will prefer embracing death rather than going down to a mere human. That is my nature. Rama's construction of a bridge over the ocean will go waste as I vow in your presence that none of them will return alive. Malevan realized the futility of explaining things to Ravana and humiliated in this way by his grandson, bowed to his king and took his leave. Earlier Bhivishan had been thrown out of the court. Now the grandfather pours out of the court. As Malevan left, Ravana arranged to fortify Lanka for its defense. Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram.